Hey, what's going on there, folks? Good afternoon. It's the Earthmaster here back on this Tuesday, January 31st, the last day here of the month, 2023. It's about 1.14 here along the West Coast in this uh, afternoon, Tuesday afternoon. Got about 52 degrees and uh, slightly breezy out here, but beautiful sunshine here along the West Coast currently. 2.1, the latest earthquake down into the Southern California area. Let's go ahead and check out uh, what's going on down there in the Southern Cal area. There's that earthquake occurring just off the Imperial Fault. Notice a little bit of activity kicking up here over the last 24 hours uh, down here around the, uh, well, just south of the southern branch of the San Andreas Fault. We got the Brawley Seismic Zone, an extensional fault system here of the plate boundary. And then this activity down here north of the border, just outside of El Centro getting in on uh, a little bit of earthquake activity today and the uh, depth of these earthquakes pretty much all over the place from one kilometer down to about 11 kilometers so we'll watch this here see if this pops off in any type of swarming fashion uh, a lot of times we'll see that uh, swarm kick off around the imperial fault first and then work its way up north towards the brawley seismic zone so definitely keep an eye on that uh, things are a little bit more calmer today along the san jacinto fault zone this was pretty active out here yesterday and um, days prior. A little bit of activity across the um, concrete jungles here of LA. Looks like a couple earthquakes here within the last couple hours, 1.7 and a 1.4 uh, listed up here on the map. Just a little scattered activity here today. A little bit of movement also on the creeping segment of the San Andreas Fault at 1.2 near Parkfield coming in uh, just uh, just now, <laughs> within the last few minutes. Uh, also a little bit of activity up here, uh, still on the plate boundary of 1.9. So getting a noticeable increase in activity across the southern portion here of the state. Uh, we'll watch out here today as uh, it's shown a little bit of sign of increasing movement as we speak. Up into the Pacific Northwest, a little activity around Mount Rainier and Mount St. Helens. Not a whole lot of activity, just a few microquakes popping off there today. Uh, let's see what we got for the Intermountain West region. No big earthquakes up in Montana today. Of course, we had that four-pointer kickoff. Oh, uh, well, over 24 hours now. A look at Yellowstone showing a couple small earthquakes up here. Uh, coming in this morning as well, 1.3. Let's go ahead and check out uh, the Yellowstone overview real quick, and we'll see what's, uh, see what's going on up here. Looks like a, a handful of little quakes around the... You know, it kind of looks like it's centered around the Maple Creek area. Notice these spikes. Those are all earthquakes. And there's a handful of them over the past oh, 10 hours or so, 11 hours. Nothing major going on. Again, those are all uh, some very small microquakes. The largest one at 1.3 coming in to this area. Northwest corner of the park. All right, Texas. That's a little bit different here today. It looks like things kicked up overnight quite uh, quite fancy, should say. Uh, a couple twos, quite a few twos popping off here outside of Pecos, Texas. Now, there is uh, quite a bit of uh, older pumping operations out here um, and some wastewater disposal wells. Uh, you can see quite a few of them out here. These are not, you know, beautiful swimming pools out there in the desert of Texas. These are wastewater. Uh, and there's a process that involves getting rid of that wastewater by injection below and uh, creating some of these earthquakes. Quite a few of these uh, areas have those ponds out there. And uh, these earthquakes that have been centered around western Texas have all been confined to this area. Looks like that's starting to uh, definitely pick up here uh, in recent times. Low activity up in the uh, Oklahoma area as well, uh, although this is from yesterday eastern portion of the country all quiet for now caribbean plate uh, still seeing a little bit of swarming up here around the puerto rico trench and the uh, monotroph area uh, some of this activity stretching down there about 39 kilometers or so the swarm down here is completely halted normally we'll see a good size swarm uh, and that's due to the process that goes on here with the plate dynamics got a um, well, major subduction zone up here uh, puerto rico trench south and also a uh, subduction zone down here, uh, Mirotos Trough, all kind of squeeze in this area. This does uh, happen quite often far as the uh, swarming goes, but when it stops, 
uh, that seems to trigger areas, uh, for example, where we've seen that six pointer down here. Oh, uh, it's been, uh, I believe, over a week or so now. Let's see. I was back on the 20th of uh, this month. 6.2 came in. So that came in right after uh, the swarming stopped down here in the southwestern edge of Puerto Rico. So you might want to keep an eye on areas Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic area, uh, for some further larger scale activity with this type of setup going on right now. Uh, South America region, just one earthquake here from uh, this morning, a 4.7. Quick glance here of the EMSC model. Uh, shows a handful of some smaller quakes down there as well, but generally light earthquake activity um, in that region today. Some movement up around the Tonga Trench area and uh, looks like just north of New Zealand. Let's see what we got going on out here. Got, uh, well, handful of earthquakes, a couple from yesterday. Some of the one from today, though, looks like a 5.0 and a 5.0. A couple diff different uh, earthquakes here. We got deeper movement quakes downstream. Subsequent shallower earthquake activity following that deeper movement. So, um, a pretty deep earthquake there today. 515 kilometers for that five pointer. Down here, New Zealand, um, nothing above the 4.5 threshold, or 4.0, I should say, at least according to the USGS. But there is a. Uh, Looks like there is a 3.9. Yeah, at least a 3.9 showing up here. I believe that's from the GeoNet servers. No, that's actually EMSE coming into the uh, Kermadec Islands region. Let's give a quick glance here of the GeoNet, uh, the agency monitoring earthquakes across the New Zealand region. 4.3 two days ago. We don't want that. We want all magnitudes recent here, 3.9. 500 kilometers deep into the Kermadec Trench. That's the one we're looking for. That uh, definitely a, a pretty deep earthquake in that region. Look at the earthquake drums across New Zealand. Uh, let's see if they're working. That's weird. Maybe I maybe I clicked earthquakes. Okay. Uh, looks like yeah, it's kind of hard to tell. Um, little bit of activity down here south island new zealand looks like uh further south you go the more localized that it gets uh, and these are all earthquakes here over the last 24 hours it looks like a little bit more uptick and movement across the south island new zealand area and um let's see were they reporting that uh see here bring up the all magnitudes here once again i'm kind of curious to see what's going on looks like a lot of earthquake activity 2.2 south island down there um four hours ago there's another one 1 1.9 seems like we're missing out on some of the earthquakes being reported here looks like there's a little bit more activity showing up on those seismograph stations and uh than what's being reported by the uh, even the GeoNet servers. And it's happening kind of down here around these, uh, uh, around this state. Well, not that station here. Let me see if I can get this keyed back up. This area right here, kind of more situated down on the extreme southwestern side. But uh, yeah, a little bit of earthquake activity. These are definitely localized. Now, if these are going to be larger quakes, these would definitely show up across the area as uh, far as other local seismograph stations. And they're really not. They're more confined to uh, this area around the uh, Deep Cove. And it looks like the uh, Mav Mavora, is that right? Hopefully I pronounced that correctly. Mavora Lakes. Those two stations there appear to be picking that up uh, pretty nicely. All right, uh, what do we got? Another earthquake out here into the, uh, well, that came in yesterday, Western Indian Antarctica Ridge. Nothing popping off here so far right now. Uh, a little bit of movement around the Philippine Trench and the uh, north of the Maluka Sea area. That, that region's been swarming like crazy here. Following, of course, they did have some larger earthquake activity here uh, over the last couple weeks. But looking at the globe here, shows quite a bit of uh, continued movement in this area today. And again, we really haven't seen a push of the westward plate movement here, or westward um, 
pressure gradient, I should say, up around the uh, about the northern end of the Java Trench here. Still kind of uh, watching that zone pretty closely. We've seen a little bit of earthquake activity, but nothing, uh, nothing too, uh, too much popping up there. Let's go ahead and glance at all the uh, at least 4.0 and above. And it looks like we're going to go 4.5 for this area. Of course, that includes the uh, larger earthquake that popped off there. Um, back on the 17th of January, they seen that seven pointer. There's been a lot, a lot of aftershock activity in this region. And um, again, this whole area is relatively on the uptick compared to uh, uh, other regions such as the Andaman Sea northward area. This has been lacking uh, some activity. And these are, that's not even a lot of earthquake activity for this region. A couple fours, not that big of a deal. I still think we have potential for some larger scale activity here. Uh, same for up around the Kuril Kamchaka Trench. That's been awfully, awfully quiet. One earthquake up around the Russia area, 4.5, coming in late last night. Nothing here across this area currently. Uh, and that goes for the EMSC model as well. But we know, we definitely know that there's strain building up here. Just, uh, it's awfully quiet. It's so weird. All right, uh, let's see what else we have here. Hawaii popping off a little bit in the uh, middle of the Pacific out there. Nothing major going on. No major changes noted across the volcanoes. Currently uh, about 17 earthquakes situated around the Pahala area. Very typical swarm in that area today. Up into the Alaska region. You know, not a whole lot popping off. Just some uh, kind of looks similar to yesterday here. Very typical into a major subduction zone area. All right, uh, let's see. I think that's about it. A little bit of activity further west here around the Mediterranean. A lot of that coming in from yesterday. And uh, looks like we did see another four-pointer. That's going to be this one in the Mediterranean, I believe, right? No. Kind of missing out. Should be another four-pointer in this area, according to the uh, globe. Unless this isn't uh, an older earthquake. I don't believe it is. Let me see here. 4.0. That one coming in uh, 1909 UTC time. So that was just a couple hours ago. So yeah, a little bit of newer activity kicking up around the central Mediterranean region. Uh, tremor last night was zero. I do like to check these because sometimes they go a couple days without throwing the tremor account up here. The tremor, tremor amount, I should say. Um, but so far, it still shows nothing from yesterday. So kind of odd, just dropped off completely. Uh, volcanic seismicity map here around Mount Rainier. Shows a little bit of small earthquake activity up there at the summit. Quick glance here at the Camp Sherman uh, Mount Rainier seismogram viewer will show us something, I'm hoping. There we go. A little bit of spotty activity. These, these are some wind events, it looks like, as well. Um, but earthquake activity going to be defined in these uh, little spikes. Not a whole lot, just a little bit. All right, space weather activity. Not a whole lot popping here either, folks. The visible disk of the sun. Look at these sunspots. Can we say wimpy, wimpy? Yeah, they are not looking promising at all. Um, these guys still have 75% chance for a C flare, M flare at 15. And I don't know why, but an elevated 5% chance for an X flare. I'm not for sure where they're seeing that at, but, uh, I, I don't know. Unless you're seeing something I'm not, I, I'm really not seeing any potential for X flare at all, anywhere. Little bit of a development here. It looks like the close proximity of the structure. But uh, these other newer sunspots do not harbor much, if anything at all, for a potential threat here from any flaring. All right, uh, let's see. I think that's about it, folks. Just going to be busy working here on the side. For those that asked for the decals, they got sent off today, FYI. Um, yeah. Alrighty, we'll catch you guys a little bit later on tonight with the update video. Take care and stay safe out there. We'll chat at you guys real soon. Have a good one.